program was originally presented by Hal Gregg at a demonstration of Google Earth and Microsoft Bing at a computer group meeting in June 2009. Google Earth is a free program that displays satellite images of the Earth's surface, allowing users to visually see things like cities by looking perpendicularly down or at an angle with perspective. Parts of the Earth are available in 3D images like the Grand Canyon or Mount Everest and cities with 3D buildings. The Google Start screen starts with a spinning Earth ending in North America. Click on Help on the toolbar for a complete tutorial on using Google Earth. The first icon button on the Earth toolbar shows or hides the sidebar. The functions on the sidebar are search, places, and layers. Search allows you to look for places or businesses and to get directions. Places lets you go directly to save locations. And layers permit you to select variable features on the map to show or hide them. The other toolbar buttons allow you to add place marks, polygons, paths, and image overlays, or to record a tour, show historical imagery, show sunlight, switch between Earth, sky, and other planets, show a ruler, email a location, print or view in Google Maps. The navigation controls on the upper right of the map area allow you to zoom in and out, tilt and look and move. The mouse can also be used to zoom in and out and to tilt. You can zoom in on the Earth's oceans to view underwater features. Click on the sunlight icon to open a window with a time slider to let you see the sun advancing across the Earth. Tilt and zoom in for perspective views, like this one of Whitehorse Village. Here is a view of Philadelphia City Hall in 3D. You can use the ruler to draw a path on the map and measure distances. Switch between Earth, Sky, Mars, and Moon views after clicking on the planet icon. The sky view allows you to explore in space. You can zoom in on Mars's features. <clears throat> the last toolbar icon on Google Earth opens Google Maps, or you can start it directly at maps.google.com. Here are regular road maps, and you can get directions. The navigation tools are in the upper left hand corner of the map. If the man icon on the tools is orange, street views are available. Click on him and drag him onto the map. Roads with views available light up blue and putting the man on one takes you to street view. Street view shows pictures of what you see as you drive down the street. You can also switch to a full screen view and zoom in and out. Microsoft's Bing Maps is a free global mapping and search service. Bing is available at bing.com backslash maps. It formerly was MSN Virtual Earth and it has bird's eye 3D and map views with directions. The site start screen starts at welcome with examples of places, directions, and exploring. There are tabs above the map to go to directions, collections, and options. Click on help in the lower right hand corner of the page for complete instructions. The navigation tools are in the upper left corner of the map and there is pan and zoom along with 2D, 3D, road, aerial maps, and bird's eye views. Here is a bird's eye view of the clubhouse at Whitehorse Village. 
This is Philadelphia City Hall in a 3D view. The road map view is generally used for getting directions. Instead of typing in start and end for directions, you can save time by clicking on the map to set the start and end. Thank you.